Hello, 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 Facebook. How we doing? Hello, everyone. We're here. We're back. Back. Episode four. Man talk. How we doing? Hey, Benny Cox. Hey, Christian. How we doing, chat? How is everyone? Ooh, Gary G. Hello. Hello, man shake men out there. How we doing, guys? We good? And lady shake ladies. All right. <laughs> episode three here we are we're back they haven't got rid of us we're back we're back for more so uh we'll quickly go through with who we are in case you don't know uh which you may not you might be new you might know us you might not know us we'll go through who we are so why don't we start we'll go with lloyd this week let's start with lloyd there we go lloyd's up Perfect. Who do you want to go next, Lloyd? You pick this time, buddy. We go Ash. Here's Ash. Every single day, new video out there for everybody to see. Uh, my hobbies include, oh, I follow the uh, Parramatta Eels. I'm one of those unfortunates. I've never seen them win a premiership. Hopefully this is the year. Um, <laughs> I love cars. I work on my own Tour de Supra. And other than that, I just love spending time with the Fam Bam and eating copious amounts of KFC when I get the chance. Apparently there's no sound. Uh, Hey, God! <laughs> Take two. Sure, Take you two. had one job, <laughs> mate. One job, honestly. Uh, How are we going, guys? I am Lloyd. I am from Narrabri, Victoria. I own a cafe restaurant named Railway Cafe and Tracks Bar. Um, I'm also a dad, and uh, so when I'm not at work, I love spending time with him. I love playing music and writing music. Uh, play a bit of PlayStation, and uh, I'm a man shake man, and I've lost 40 kilos since last year, and uh, yeah, love it. That's why I'm here. 
All right, we'll go back to Ash. Hello, Ash. We probably missed the start of yours, mate. Go for it. <laughs> I, I nailed it the first time around. I've got to do it again. All right, what did I do last time? Do it again. Hey, everybody, I'm Ash, otherwise known as That Fat Guy. I have been doing a daily vlog of my weight loss journey on YouTube, and I've been using the man shake to do it. I've uh, so far lost, I think it's like 36 kilos since January. Absolutely loving every single day of it, and you can catch me on YouTube for that. Uh, my hobbies include, uh, well, I follow the Parramatta Eels. I guess you can call that a hobby. Uh, I've never seen them win a premiership. I'm 32 years old, so I'm the 32-year curse. This is their year. And um, <laughs> I uh, love um, working on cars. I work on my own Toyota Supra. I absolutely love doing it. And uh, other than that, I love I spending time with Bam Bam and, and hearing, hearing my own echo. echo. That's insane. insane. Can what you guys hear me? Yeah. Yeah? Can you hear me? We got we got you, Tim. We got oh, you. Now. Cool. I mean, like, no one was answering me. They're like, I'm like, can you hear me? And there was nothing. I was like, oh god, they're we, gonna they're gonna switch to me and no one can hear me. We had <laughs> some, we had some gremlins, I I hit the wrong button, but we're good now, I believe. Ah, <laughs> excellent. Hi, my name's Tim. I'm from Newcastle, New South Wales. I'm also a Parramatta Eel supporter. Uh, and my forte is gaming. I'm the you know, one of the, well, actually, Jerd's a gamer as well, but I've been streaming on Twitch for about three and a half years now. Um, yeah, just celebrated some big milestones. Um, yeah, just having a great time playing games and, and uh, entertaining people. And I'm also a single father. Uh, yeah, to a lovely little boy named Henry. Uh, he's my absolute world. And I've been, yeah, using Manshake and, and playing video games and streaming and creating content now for, for quite a while. And I'm happy to be part of this podcast. That's great. Haven't you here, Tim? Not sure whether we can hear Jerd. Yeah, Jerd. What is happening? Hello. Hi, guys. How are we? Are we okay? Is everyone all right? Hello, Chad. I'm sorry. Anyone that knows me knows this is amateur hour. I try my best. Uh, I'm Jerd, also known as Jerd Man. <laughs> He's the producer. We blame him. For uh, blame me for everything. I used to look like His that. His best is not good enough, mate. Honestly. I used to look like that guy there. <laughs> uh, I started last year at 170 kilos. I'm now 88. I'm maintaining. I don't go for an NRL team. I go for Arsenal in the Prem League. We've you won a couple. You go for the Broncos. Oh, I, don't the Broncos. The I don't think I've ever seen a photo of me in a Broncos jersey. Um, yeah. I, st <laughs> I stream on Twitch. You can get me at uh, German on Twitch. Um, I have... A few of the Manshake boys coming in, so we're having a great time. Anyway, that's it. I'm here to have fun. All right, we'll go back to the main screen. There we go. Okay, I think, I think I've think i sorted the problem out. <laughs> Was it the gremlins in the machine? <laughs> this gremlin. That's okay. We sorted it. Wait. Wait, this, this, this chat so far is the Brisbane Broncos of uh, man talks. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad, surely. <laughs> Uh, all right. So, uh, first things first, Tim. Yes. Now, last week when we were starting, you uh, when we were finishing, you you put out a, a giveaway out there. So, what are you giving away? I'm giving away a bag of caramel man shake, a bag of vanilla man shake, a box of the peanut butter bars because peanut butter is yuck, and a That's container a container of the birthday man shake. Um, there's, no, there's, there's no birthday cake on that photo there. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking Filthy about. Mitts off it, Jared. <laughs> I don't see any. Oh, there it is. It's right there. It's not a full bag of shake, but it is a <sighs> container of it. Limited edition. It's a couple of slices of cake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So good. So, so what? Good. We, so what we're going to do, the lucky winner of this, what you need to do in chat tonight, Lloyd's come up with some concoction. He's our resident scientist. He's come up with a new concoction. You've got to guess what flavor he's made. And we're going to show a video at the end and see who won. The first person who guesses it correctly, Ash. It's on you. Ash is keeping score. Uh, that fat guy's keeping score. Yeah, uh, first yeah, one to correctly identify terrible. the flavor gets that loot. Give me the loot. All right. So that's it. So, so guess flavor, re guess new recipes uh, that Lloyd has come up with, the culinary beard of knowledge. This <laughs> <one>. and, <laughs> oh. and if anyone guesses it correctly, first person to get, get it wins. I won't be announcing the winner until the end. If you ever do an autobiography, that needs to be the title of it, Lloyd. Right there. That's right. He just gave it to you. That's it. Culinary thank, beard thank, of knowledge. Thank Dale Smith for that one. Oh, thank, thank you very much, Dale. Yeah. Oh, copyright. I love it. All right. Mm. So this episode... Uh, Tim, do you want to do you want to chat about why specifically we're doing this episode and why we're touching on this topic? Do you want to chat about okay. that? 
Yeah, I would. So uh, last week, unfortunately, a streamer called Wreckful, um, he took his own life. Age 31, uh, he was very big in World of Warcraft, and he, he was he's essentially a streaming pioneer. He's one of the OGs. And unfortunately, uh, he did take his own life, and it is due to that that I thought we should really delve into mental health. And we should talk about not only moments in our life where we've, you know, decided to make a change, um, but also about the stigma around mental health, speaking about mental health, and how it's really important that as men, we get rid of that stigma that it's, it's that men need to shut up, that men need to keep quiet. You know, I think it's really important that as as, especially in this community that, you know, like we encourage men to come forward and talk about their problems because there's, there's very much a mentality in today's society that um, having mental issues is, is not normal and also that men should just shut up and deal with it personally. And I am very much against that, that theory and that line of thought. So I thought we should spend tonight not only talking about the moments that changed us to make a, to you know to make that or the moments that we hit to make the change in our own life, but even moments that which is where we found ourselves in in a rough spot and and the ways that we've we've moved forward and moved past that and you know encourage people to to seek out help because there are so many useful resources out there for people to use. And also just my condolences as well to the family of Wreckful. Like I can't imagine what they're all going through at the moment. I think it's it's one of those things where you, your your actions and what you do can affect other people adversely and positively. So mm. I think you're either a person in the world that's trying to be good into the world or bring negative thoughts into the world. So you don't know what people are going through in their everyday life. It, it doesn't take a lot to, especially if someone that's battling with weight issues or battling with mental health issues or something, it doesn't take them a lot to slide and to slip and to fall into that hole where they can't see any light at the end of the tunnel. Mm. So I think it's important that people... Real, I'm, look, I'm not an expert. Like I'm acting, I'm not an expert. I'm just a normal bloke. But um, people, what you say and what you do to people can really affect them more than you think it's going to affect them. Like, well, I threw a hashtag out there. It ain't weak to speak, and it really, really isn't. And it, it, it's it's amazing how society is nowadays that people will suffer this in complete silence. They won't say anything, and until it takes like one person have the courage to say, like in a conversation, people, oh, I feel this way, or I depressed, I have anxiety. It's not until then that other people tend to just come out of the woodwork, and you find that most people, more, I say more than not would be suffering from some sort of mental demon and it is absolutely yeah. like all right to speak and if you need to have a cry if you need to you know unload on someone do it because you never know they might be struggling as well and they might need to have an open forum about it yeah i can um i can relate to this 100 percent um it, a lot of it has to do with why i started doing the man shake as well i was going through a pretty pretty rough patch there and um, yeah, I was in a really down, down, downward spiral for a long time there and, um, and actually opening up to my wife and telling her the way that I felt and actually speaking to just one of my close mates who was going through a pretty similar, similar thing at the time, um, all definitely helped, helped into getting to where I am today. I think, I think one of the biggest problems that we have in today's society is like, we have really great initiatives like, are you okay day? But the problem also with Are You OK Day is that when you say to someone, Are you OK? and they say, No, I'm not, some people will be like, Shit, what do I do next? You know, like, I'm not a trained professional. I'm, you know, none of us are trained professionals, like in, in psychiatry and, and psychology. But the, the, pro, the, the thing is that we're not taught what to happen after that, that conversation takes place. So if you say to someone, Are you OK? and they say, No, you know, like, what do we do next? There's no, there's no real instruction manual there. So I think the problem the, the, where we really have to target that area is when someone says, no, I'm not okay. You say, right, okay, well, you talk to me and I'm going to listen to what you have to say. I'm not going to give you advice. I'm not going to give you the answers, but I'm going to give you the direction to find help, to go here, to talk to these people. You know, like that's, that's where I think the conversation needs to be had because asking someone if they're okay is the first step. 
getting them the help they need is the second step after that. And, you know, like it, it's, it's why a lot of content creators, I know when people come into their chat and they're like, oh, I'm feeling, you know, talking about suicide and things like that. They're like, I don't know what to do. Like, what do I say? I could say the wrong thing. And it's like, it, it's not, it's not your responsibility to talk that person off the ledge, but you can point them in the direction of someone who can. And that's, that's where I think we really need to, to have a conversation in this country about that. Yeah. Mm. Well, well, Tim, if it's at all possible, maybe um, just while we're having this chat, if you could post a couple of links to some yeah, definitely. sources. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. yeah. And I think it's it's one of those things too where you can ask someone, hey, go on, and just out of instinct, they just go, yeah, I'm going good. And they yeah. cannot be going good. And they it's just an impulse to say, yeah, I'm good. And like, But you don't, like, unless, I suppose unless you feel comfortable chatting to whoever you're chatting to, you're not going to really open up. I think... I think you need to find those people that you know and they might not tell you that you can trust them and that, but you know people who you can go to if you need to have a chat with anyone. You know, you know, you know your circle of friends. You know who you can go to and have a chat. You're not alone out there. Like you might think yeah. sometimes you are alone, but you're not. There's so many people going through the same thing. Well, maybe not the same thing, but similar things. So, so it's quite, very quite often, um, quite often you feel like you're a burden to everyone, like unloading your problems onto other people, uh, like people have got their own problems and you sort of feel like, oh, I, I don't want to dump my problems on, on other people. But it's not mm. the case at all. Like that's what friends and loved ones are there for. These are the people that care care about you and, and they want to know if you're hurting. So opening up to, to people. And even if it even if you're not comfortable with talking to um, to people around you, like what Tim said, reach out to the people that, that, um, that want to help. Goes a long way. Yeah. yeah, and I think and, any of us, like, and I know we're just four random dudes, but with the Manshake men in the community that we've got there, there's so many blokes that would be more than happy to lend an ear to anyone. Like, hundred percent. You know, like you, if you're if you're out there and you've and you feel like you need to chat someone, just hit either of any of us up or anyone yep. like else on the group. Like, everyone's so happy to help. We we have a no dickhead policy for a reason. It's great. So, yeah. and what the thing is that here, we though? don't ever, the whole time that I've been in that chat, I've only ever in that group, I've only ever seen one dickhead like that. And that's it. Uh, and, and that's <clears> a <throat> testament to how positive that group can be. Uh, yeah, I've, uh, I've only ever seen one person get removed. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah. No, it's good. So, so we've, we've got, what was the moment? So who will we start with? I'll start, I'll start with myself. Why not? We'll start with me. My moment, the reason I started this was, oh, I'll get rid of that thing. There we go. This photo. Now, I had I had another photo, which is my big face that probably a lot of people have seen, my big face. This is the this is a photo that I saw that I thought, I need to make a change because if I don't make a change, these kids aren't going to have a dad. So when, I, when my sister took this photo at the start of last year in January, I thought, they deserve better. I deserve better. My wife deserves better. So this was the big moment for me that I looked and thought, I was just tired, tired of carrying the weight uh, physically and mentally. Like you just, you feel like shit. You just feel like utter shit. You can't, you don't want to go anywhere. You don't want to, any event you go to, your clothes don't fit and you you just fall into that cycle of feeling terrible and then you eat because you feel terrible. It's just an endless cycle. So this is the photo. For me, that was my moment that I thought my kids deserve better and I need to be around for my kids. I lost my father five years ago to lung cancer. I didn't want them losing me to a heart attack. So that's the photo. So, and since then, that was me in October. January to October, that is it. And that's, so good. And that's wow. me 11 kilos ago. So I want to go back and get another photo. Now I've lost another 11 kilos since then. But for me, that was the moment. I knew that I needed to change uh for the family because i could i you can't go on living like that like something's going to break and it's probably going to be you it's amazing the difference in those photos not only in terms of your sheer size but even as you hold like as you are presenting yourself mm. um you just look so much more confident just in your stature so yeah. uh yeah mate you've absolutely killed it yeah yeah okay what about what do we what do we go to you ash you were just chatting we'll go to you let's go to ash all right 
Um, yeah, that moment. It, it, it seems to always be a photo of yourself where you, you, someone has takes that, takes that photo and tags you in it. Oh, there it is. Um, <laughs> That's definitely worse than that, is there? Yeah. You get that, that tag that, on Facebook. Yeah, and you look at it, you're just like, oh. Um, that was a photo uh, at uh, an engagement dinner that, um, for myself and Angela. And I looked at it when I was tagged, and I'm like, I'm not in this photo. And I had to like, double take and just be like, wow, is that what I look like to the rest of the world? Because you, know, you have that self-image of yourself that you look in the mirror every day, and you know you're fat. You know, you know you're overweight. You know your your belts look like the whips from Indiana Jones. You know that you know mm. you you burst some buttons on your pants and and all sorts of stuff. Your clothes don't fit, and you go into the big sections in the shops. But you kind of live in a state of denial. And then I see saw that photo. I was like, oh my god, I need to make a change. And this is a few years back. I made that change. And then I did it. I did the hard swap. I did you know five days at the gym. Did intermittent fasting full year. And I only lost like 34 kilos, which I say only is a fair amount. And I was pretty happy with where I was. Um, but then I fell off the wagon and I gained it all back and then some to 160 kilos. And it, I was looking at my daughter one day and I was thinking to myself, you know, I, I need to be around for her. You know, uh, it, this my body size was affecting my relationship with my, you know, the person I want to spend my life with, my, you know, Angela. And, and, you know, it was affecting my health to the point where I got a letter and I keep that letter right there, right there on that notice board. And it says, you are at extremely high risk of getting diabetes too. You are in pre-diabetes right now. If you keep going down this track, that's it. And that was after I did a stint in hospital for some unrelated sinus well, it is kind of related because I suffer from obstructive sleep apnea and uh, it actually forced my lovely um, fiance out of our out of our bed. She can't she couldn't sleep with me because I was so loud. I was keeping her up, I was putting a strain on our relationship, putting a strain on my body, putting a strain on everything. And I was so depressed and just feeling like nothing. Absolutely nothing. Um and thankfully, that's when I saw, um, you know, Jerd's story about the man shake and um, uh, new year rolled around. I've recovered from my surgery and I thought, you know what, we're going to have a red hot crack at this. And here I am, like, you know, honestly, you know, it's going on six months later and I feel like I've turned my whole life around. And I can't thank all of the people that are on my channel that have subscribed and commented and encouraged me, everyone on the man shake men page for lending giving me the support to get to where I am now. And, you know, it's just, yeah, that, that was, you know, the start of an absolute moment, that photo. Um, mm. Yeah. Ups it's, and downs. Smashed it. And, and that's when, when I got approached to do that story, I, a current affair, I wasn't overly uh, fussed on doing, to be perfectly honest. And the one reason I kept coming back to was exactly what you've just said. If I can put myself out there and let blokes realize they can do it and it worked for you and you've done it and you've now you're inspiring people, like it's word of mouth. And that's, that's the main reason I did it was to get the word out there and help other blokes out there. Like it was, it was scary to do it. I really, it really was scary. And I'm glad that it's helped put the rocket up you, so to speak. And now you're putting up the, up the rocket up, up other people. Like it's amazing. So it's the, the circle of life. I don't, I don't ever see it. It moves us all. Um, no. But look, before, before we get to the next person, I really want to get to the next person. Just a quick reminder out there, the culinary beard of knowledge has come up with a new man shake blended flavor. Uh, put your guesses in below. I'm watching the live chat, so anyone who guesses the new concoction, let us know. He's come up with a couple already, Snickers and Jaffa. Oh, so, uh, and a couple others, I think. But, um, yeah, put your guesses below and you can win uh, a few bags of man shake and some man bars carefully. Oh, absolutely beautifully donated by Tim. And I think, Tim, I think that means it's your turn, mate. Let us know. All right. That's a photo there. there. Have you got the one? Um, I've got that other one. one. I've, mm. Let me find that other one. Is that the one? There you go. Yeah. There you go. Sorry, just give me a second. So this photo 
uh, this photo was taken the very day after I split up with my partner of 10 years. Um, I'm going to give you an insight into what, into what was going through that man's head. Um, he had no self-worth. Uh, he hated himself. He had contemplated taking his own life. Um, I had been in a toxic one-sided relationship for about two years, uh, where I, I literally just didn't, I, I, I put up with stuff that you shouldn't put up with when you're in a relationship. Um, and the final nail in the coffin was finding out about, you know, just what was going on behind my back. And I, obviously I'm not going to go into specifics, but I was a broken man in that photo. Absolutely broken man. I looked in my, and I, and I took that photo and then I sat down behind like on the ground right there. And I just cried and I cried for about an hour. Um, and I just thought this is the time to make a change. I, I don't think I've ever experienced a period in my life where my mental health was as bad as it, as it was at that stage. And, uh, I didn't have a lot of support around me to get through that. Um, so I, yeah, I, I essentially had to reach out for help. I had to reach out and speak to, speak to a counselor, speak to, uh, a psychologist. I went on a mental health plan. Um, and I decided that I was going to turn my life around at that moment and stop eating shit and stop, uh, just trying to bury my feelings in, in, uh, in food. And yeah, uh, cause I wanted to be around for my son as well. Like I, yeah, I grew up without a father in my life and I didn't want to put my son through the same thing. Um, because I love, I love my son dearly. He's, he's everything to me. And I wanted to be there for him, you know, for the rest of all, you know, for the rest of my life and see the, the major moments in his, you know, I, I wanted to see him get married. I want to see him, you know, be successful in his life. Uh, I don't want to, to leave him without that. And, uh, yeah, uh, I, sometimes it is very hard for me to look at that photo because I just know, I just know what was going through that, that man's head and it just, it's yeah it's hard to it's hard to remember it's hard it's 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 very hard to, to remember i'm going to be perfectly honest tim i saw that photo today when you sent it to me and i remember seeing that on manshake men but i did not associate that photo with you until, really? you, sent it, until you sent it to me today and i'm like oh that was you i did not even realize that that that, that was you that photo i've seen that before i did not realize yeah, that was you you look completely different man you do completely mm. All right, uh, Lloyd. Where's Lloyd? Where is he? Here he is. How's it going, guys? Is this Lloyd? <laughs> there he is. Well, yeah. So, um, when I turned everything around, um, shortly before, I was going through a pretty pretty rough patch. Um, we were struggling in the business a fair bit, um, struggling financially, and. We just had had our son, and um, I was sort of feeling like uh, I was um, sort of letting the family down, and yeah, um, I was spiraling out of control with with my weight. We moved from Melbourne to Maribyrnong, and my weight progressed probably close to thirty kilos in a very short short time. Waking up every day just feeling like crap. And it got to a point where I even was looking at my superannuation to think that, well, if I kill myself, that um, at least my family will um, will be will be okay to, to go on. Um, and I got the courage to actually sit down with my wife in bed one night and just um, very emotional talk and kind of told her my plan of, of what I wanted to do. And she pretty much said she'd prefer to be homeless as long as she had Joe and myself in her life. Um, that was all that mattered. So um, it was from that point I, I said, okay, well, I'm no longer sweating the, the small stuff. I'm getting all the negativity out of my life um, and just take every day as it comes. And it was probably within two days of having that conversation that um, the man shake actually popped up on my Facebook page and I was seeing guys um, 
like Ryan Williams, um, Gary, uh, Tim Jenkins, heap of, heap of these guys, and it was showing how much weight they had lost and and things like that. And so I decided to jump on the website and, and read into it, and I was seeing all the testimonials and they, just pages and pages of them. Um, Tim was up there. Tim was in there. And um, and I thought, well, I'm, I've, what have I got to lose? And sure enough, I jumped on it. And even within a couple of weeks, I just started feeling like I had more energy. Um, I, f- I was finally putting some decent stuff into my body. I wasn't starving myself throughout the whole day and then just eating rubbish of a night, just being flat out with work. Some days just not even eating, and like, and that's the worst thing you can do because your your body goes into starvation mode and just stores fat. Um, so I was finally, finally having some good stuff, and um, and I was talking to one of my close close mates who was going through depression and things like that at the time. I I went to a I went to the doctors and I tried antidepressants, um, which was probably one of the worst weeks of my life. It was horrific, and I did not enjoy antidepressants at all. So um, I'm not saying that they they don't work for other people, but um, it just didn't work for me. But um, as soon as I started eating right, um, going for a walk, putting putting my headphones on, and and um, just escaping from the world for an hour each night, just made a world of difference, and the weight each week was going down and down and and I'm just such a happier healthier person now and and you know what everything around me has has become more positive too um, like our business has been doing a lot better um, even though with all the COVID stuff that's been happening but um, yeah that's, that's been it <laughs> heavy <laughs> stuff mate heavy I, stuff I think, you know, I think a lot of, I think for us and for a lot of blokes out there the reason we've done this is obviously for ourselves, but I think family and partners and, and kids and I think that's such a big motivator for so much. Like what we do ourselves can be destructive on ourselves, but that affects everyone else around us as well. So I think motivator, firstly do it for yourself, but your family and everyone else that will benefit from it, from you getting healthy yeah. and the impact you can have on other people while getting healthy it cannot be understated either. Whatever you like, stuff that you do, and it can cause positive change in other people. Like you might not even think about it, you might not even see it, but people are out there are watching. People are out there and noticing you losing weight and getting healthy, and your what you do can have an effect on other people, even strangers. Like that's just how yeah. it is. So if and you, then, and, oh sorry, no, you're uh, right. Go, go, Tim. Go. Say, the really important thing is that we have to normalize conversations like this. You know, we need to make it. So this is natural. Like a, a lot of people might hear this and be like, oh, you know, like that's so heavy. That's so, but you know, like we need to stop thinking like that. We need to think this person <clears throat> had a rough time. They struggled. They went through that adversity and they came out of it. Awesome. You know, like that's really good. These are got to be things that we celebrate instead of shy away from them. That's, that's the problem that we face is that people don't come forward and speak about the demons that they're suffering from and the internal issues they have because they're afraid of being judged and we need to remove that judgment from the equation well if you look at that like there's four people here and all four of us have uh, suffered in one way or another and it's affected us both physically and mentally and uh like if that doesn't send a message saying like you know four out of four these are we're just four random blokes that have come together you know it's 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 amazing how many people suffer and in complete silence. And Ryan Betson, he commented below, mental health and physical health are cyclically linked. When you look good, you feel good. And when you feel good, you want to look good. Um, and I, I 100% agree with you, man. Like, mm. you know, like as I'm, as I find that, you know, I've been losing this weight, I've been taking better care of myself and caring a little bit more about how I looked when I go out to the shops, you know, even, even I started using, you know, cologne again. I just gave up on cologne, you know, like Ooh, la, la. De- 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 deodorant, but so did so you know, I. Like, <laughs> you know, like, I was just like, oh, it's too expensive. Who am I? You know, I'm not, yeah, like, I'm not trying to impress anyone, but you know, in, in this, in the same breath, like I care more about 
my appearance. So that, that, I, I absolutely agree with you there. Like yeah. I went out, I've never really used aftershave or cologne and I went out and bought a $110 bottle of cologne, which is insane for me to spend that kind of money on something like that. Yeah. And I just feel so like much more confident wearing it and just like, no, I smell good and I feel good. Like it's just, it's a great feeling. What really scent did you buy? Yeah, I was going to say, they have a bit of fun. What, did, what, have you, what, are, you, what are you wearing? Gold. It's gold. It's called gold. And I can't remember the name. It's like nice. a rock or it, something. But is it the one that looks like the gold bar? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. That's good. So that's good. good stuff. It's a very soft kind of tone. I use uh, old classic Hugo Boss, um, mm. the classic one. I use uh, Scent de Jud. <laughs> <laughs> I use Rexona <laughs> Rex Super Sport. <laughs> <laughs> what speed stick? <laughs> hey, don't shit on roll on deodorant. That stuff is the best. No, you can't. It, it gets cold. It gets cold. Yeah, well, oh, oh. the smell of my speed. You gotta stick. save your armpit, mate. I thought the... you might have been on the Sex Panther, Jerd Man. <laughs> <laughs> Six percent of the time it works. Works every time. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> that is terrible. Well, hey, everyone um, out there, put down funny. below as well as the flavors that you think the culinary beard and knowledge has come up with. Also, come down, uh, put down what aftershaves or colognes you wear because I'm keen to see what's still Shoot. in. Uh, in should I say? I used to be a big Armani guy. Like I loved Armani Mania and Armani Code. Uh, Code was just Code's like, good. Code was super strong. Like, you could smell it for days. You're all talking a different language. I had that no any of these moths. Yeah. <laughs> sure, just opens his cupboard and it's like roll on at Lynx Africa I and like <laughs> that's it. It's like, Tons of musk do, 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 yeah. do, do, do. We're going out tonight, guys. I'm putting on the special stuff to spray the Lynx I think I used on. I think I used dupe once. It gave me a headache. <laughs> <laughs> I used to back in the day, every payday, I'd go and buy a new cologne, and I just had hundreds of them. All right, you not? All right, boys. All right, boys. So we've all got, we've all got <laughs> links. We, we've all used links, no doubt. Links is great. Right, yeah, oh, I yeah. gotta use links. What was your link? Yeah. My links was Africa when I was in high school, and I switched to Apollo. Um, Ex- they were mint. I'd accelerate. The, oh, accelerate! The blue oh. and red one. Yeah. 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 It's good stuff. That was good. You sprayed that on. And, whew, you knew you were getting hit with it. Whew. Hey, you had that, you had that, that teenager stink on you. Stank. Uh, uh, Ash, is, <laughs> this one press you, Ash. Accelerate uh, deodorant. Cruising down High Street on a Thursday night with the bass cranker, mate. <laughs> Penrith Macca's, mate. Doing the car park. Do a manie through Penrith. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's I, remember doing, I remember doing like... Uh, bloody laps around orange in my little Holden Commodore, just, you know, arm hanging out the window, the music blaring. Oh my God. How did I ever, ever meet a woman? I had, a, I, had a, I had an 89 Camira. My first car was an 89 Camira and the sound system was terrible. I had a sub in a boot and I had two house speakers about this big laying on the back seat plugged into the stereo. I was so cool. Amazing. <laughs> my, my first car was a uh, 87 Toyota Camry CSX wagon, red, because well, red's the fastest. Um, and it had like all these mad like speakers throughout. But the best part of it was it had red neons. And I'm not kidding you, neons in the back. So in the boot of the car. So the whole thing lit up red. Uh, I love that car to bits. Blew a head gasket, but I still drove it. <laughs> <laughs> I, the, first day, the first car I ever bought was that Holden Commodore. And I literally backed it into a tree, part, getting out of, the park, <laughs> out of the lot after I'd bought it. Put a massive din in the boot. I was like, excellent. <laughs> $3,000 well spent. Like... <laughs> <laughs> my uh, my first car I bought off my art teacher at high school. I didn't actually have my license. I just bought this car for the backyard. Trust an and art teacher. All... Yeah, so it was a um, it was a Datsun 120Y little wagon. It was all fun and games until there was about six of my mates crammed into it, and we drove oh. straight through my next door neighbor's fence. Oh. Oh and then I, no! And then I sold it for three hundred bucks. Oh, so I made a hundred dollars on it. Oh yeah, yeah. so hey, wheel and dealing. That's not bad. Yeah. Oh, John Hawkshaw said, uh, Krispy Kreme Penrith Car Park, mate. Lots of memories That's there. Like, that was, <laughs> yep. I, I still get the Supra out there, you know, every so often. You see a white Toyota Supra uh, hooning around uh, the western Sydney suburbs. Uh, my, my, might be me. <laughs> I used to have a fuzz machine sticker on my Camera <laughs> Fuzz machine on the bottom, <laughs> on the windscreen. Oh, oh man. Bring back the memories. Jesus. Terrible. <laughs> um, hey, links. 
Yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> Good, that's that's going back. Wow. Nick, Nick I had the skits mix, <laughs> skits mix volume like oh. eight or something. Yep. Or some CD that you'd gotten from a girl in yes. high school that was like our mixtape. Yes. <laughs> like, and it's got it's got all the names of the songs on the front of it, like TLC, yeah. No Scrubs, and. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the OK Boomer yeah. podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, who, did he, who did he actually ever used a VCR? I'm just... Oh, I yeah. did. <laughs> my parents' one, one. My parents' one had a cord. In the morning, <laughs> had a cord for the remote, but didn't it wasn't even a cordless remote. Had a cord. <laughs> had a cord. He wow. still managed with a cord. With the big my... tube. With the big tube TV. Oh yeah. My um. And you dial up internet. Yeah. My... <laughs> My grandfather, God rest his soul, um, he was um, uh, losing his eyes and losing his you know, senses a little bit. But he had the old school TV and the remote was corded and he had to turn the volume way up and, you know, rather than getting up all the time. So he had this one remote, it was probably about this big and it had a slider on it for the remote. Like you, you slide it right up to oh, max volume where it was just like, you know, well, I forget what movie it is. Is it, He sits in front of a giant speaker and is blasting. Back you know, to the this, future. Yeah, that's all. Right. Yeah. Uh, you, gotta, you gotta turn it up to eleven, hey? Obscure reference. Ever, right. Did anyone ever have the issue of like trying to use dial up internet but mum wanted to use the phone? So as soon as yes. she make a phone call, you couldn't. Oh, you put could, it down, yeah. put the phone down, put the phone down, quick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh now we're going oh, now we're going back. Jesus. Jeez, I reckon if I heard the sound of a dial up modem it would probably make me vomit oh, right now. <laughs> I love that sound. I miss that sound. I love that sound. Eh? On the PS one logo screen. Mm. Oh, mm. Uh, oh yeah. I love that sound. <laughs> so good. Well, I think right. we should open up for a little bit of a Q and A as well, we guys. Yes. Like uh yeah, you know, if anyone has any questions that they want to ask us around weight loss, around uh, anything really, uh, like uh, you know, why the Broncos are so terrible. This Jared, year. Jared in chat, some people won't get this is Spinal Tap reference, mate. It's pretty obscure. Lloyd got it. He's a musician. I got it yeah. because I'm a nerd. But some people won't get it. Um, <laughs> yes, I've got any questions, ask them. Why we're chatting about that and why we're talking old school. Um, positive change. I, I wanted to... Uh, I wanted to signal out my uh, some of my family, actually, funnily enough. Um, since seeing me losing all this weight and everything, and they've always been worried about my weight. My dad, mum, mum never talked about it too much. Dad always did, and I always had issues. The only time me and dad ever had any words when he was alive was over my weight because he used to worry all the time. And now I know it's from a place of love. Before, I just used to get defensive and, yeah. So I regret that he's not around to see me healthy now. So that's one big regret I've got. But that's is this is not long after Dad passed away. Uh, that's me and Mum on the left. And we were there having lunch for something. And that's me and Mum at this Christmas. So I've lost heaps. Mum's lost heaps. Um, so we're both... Mum's on the lady shakes. We're both getting healthy. Uh, so that's that. And Good on you, Mum. <sighs> Hey. Man shakes the one. Thank you, Nana. She's got the kids tonight. Thank you, Nana, if you're out there listening. Um, oh. And my sister, on my Twitch on a Wednesday night, I'm doing a Just Talking uh, Health Lifestyle stream. I've got some guys from the UK and from America. We're all get together and have a chat and we share some photos and everything. There's a few of the man shakers were in the other night. And it was great fun. And my sister popped in and shared her photo. She is down 16 kilos from the start of the year on the Lady Shakes. Oh, that's awesome. So, so good. If you're out there wow. and you want to, I'll put a little plug in. If you're out there and want to come in on a Wednesday night, if you're not interested in gaming, come in on a Wednesday night to my Twitch and we just chat. We just sit there and chat. I'm on the set of the office, as you can see. We just sit there and chat. So, uh, Tim, take no offense to that no, mug. It's not, it's not directed at you. Take no offense. <laughs> that's a just, crazy cat lady, isn't that it? That is crazy cat lady. Yep. And she's crazy. I would just like to, I just sent you a photo that was Christmas 2018 versus Christmas 2019. Okay, I'll find that. That's probably all those bings. If you're in chat and you can hear this bing, bing, that was Tim. That's okay. Ryan, Ryan Betson has uh, thrown us a question, guys. That's a good one. Um, who has been someone around you that has been a force of positive change when you needed it? Uh, I'll, speak I'll let, no, I'm, 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 I'm doing behind the scenes I, 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 stuff. I seriously thought, am I muted? Like, no, I'm, I, I, I'm busy. I'd actually say that it would be a lot of the people in my Twitch community. 
um a lot of the people that have become my friends uh a couple of my mods i have a mod named nitro who has always been there to listen to me when when i've had uh anything going on um i've got a good friend called bryce who always listens to me as well um and just the pot like just the regulars that pop in every single afternoon or every night and just they're always there like uh, those are the people that have been a positive influence in my life because i'm a bit of a loner um and obviously my son he's the biggest positive influence in my life but uh, i've yeah i've I found that a lot of the online connections that I've made with people over social media and through Twitch streaming have all been very positive to me and in in my life. So I always they, I always know that they have my back if I'm having a shit day. Yeah, I've um, my kids are like the number one like positive influence. Like my daughter, like yeah, you know, just looking at her and just knowing that I want to be there for all those big moments in her life is a huge influence on me. Um, my missus, um, you know, she's tried she tried everything under the sun to get me to try to start my weight loss and healthy lifestyle change, but um, it also also had a few friends, and I'm not going to name names, but um, you know who you are. You approached me and you said, "Hey, man." is everything all right? Like we, we noticed you've kind of gone back and um, yeah, thank you guys for that one. So um, hmm. sometimes you need a little bit of tough love. I know it's sensitive, but uh, sometimes you just need a little, a little prod, a little poke. That, that, that photo right there. And um, anyone who's watched any of my um, uh, like videos on YouTube, uh, I did a, a discussion or a podcasty kind of thing with uh, my missus. And I, I call it fat chat. I've you know, talked to people on weight loss journeys and uh, my missus talks about me and what it was like living with me. Um, and it was very real. I cried throughout the, entire, throughout the thing. And um, she said to me that I would have all these moments with my daughter just like that when I was at my biggest and I would ask her to delete the photo because I hated the way I looked and all those memories, like a, other than what's in my head gone, like erased from existence. And, uh, I asked her to take that photo. This is on the weekend at Kieran's uh, son's birthday. Uh, happy birthday, Oliver. Um, and I was like, I, I liked what I saw and that was such a huge moment for me. I looked at it. I'm just like, wow, that is awesome. I'm going to keep that one. Mm. I'll go back to that. Uh, sorry, Lloyd. I'll get to, we'll get to you in no, a second, my friend. Um, Tim sent me a photo to put up. Here it is. Sorry, I want to say that's Christmas 2017 versus 2019. Yep, crazy. So, Christmas yeah. is. I've I'll put that in my write up. My big menu. Uh, whatever. What is that called? The big menu. Um, <laughs> the menu. In, yeah. the, in my usual write up that I send to everyone. Um, Christmas is such a good like signpost to think about how good you can look at Christmas. If you start now, if we're in, we've just gone into July, it's five months. So, if you start uh, my, now. Yeah, just with that picture, I don't think my ex-partner will mind me sharing that, but that's her um, in 2017 and me, and she also lost 55 kilos Jeez, herself. Jeez, wow, so, uh, amazing. And that's, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, oh, yeah. Yeah. and that was like obviously the last Christmas. Wow. That's gone. It's just, I look at that photo and I think like, you know, people can change their life. You know, anyone can change their life if you really – set your goals and set your mind to it you can really make a big change that's that's amazing that's yeah. that's amazing tim that really is amazing but what like the benefit your son's going to get from you losing weight and his mother losing weight like it's ridiculous like mm. that's crazy that's awesome we've lost the uh, like yeah we we her and i don't like we no we don't talk that much but between us we've lost 80 oh sorry 88 kilos ridiculous so, mate ridiculous yeah. wow all right lloyd uh positive change my friend yeah well um i suppose family absolutely um my wife and then like what ash said you look at your kids and see how happy they are like and just uh, like even tonight um my son was was sleeping and we went in we had to wake him up um from a very short nap um, and you just see them and you just go, oh, it's, it's just unbelievable feeling and you want to be there. And um, then surprisingly enough, a lot of customers that came into my business were commenting on, um, on how well I was doing and, and looking and there was always positive feedback. You find that when, like you with your, with your wife and people that see you every day, they don't see all the changes, 
but it's the people that you only see every now and then that go, oh, wow, oh, my God. Mm. Like, look how far you've come and things like that. Um, so those two photos there, they're probably roughly a year apart. Um, and I don't think I ever posted that first one anywhere because my head looks like the size of a watermelon. But, um, yeah, but <laughs> compared to some of the feedback that I used to get at work, I remember taking a piece of cheesecake to an old gentleman at a table and I sat it down and I said, here you go, sir, here's your lemon cheesecake. And he looked at me and goes, looks like you've had a few. Oh, I hate that. And, uh, oh, that is the worst. <laughs> and I said, oh, yeah, yeah, no, someone, well, someone's got to try the cakes, don't they? So, <laughs> but, um, yeah, but no, there has been a lot of, lot of positivity um, with my journey. And um, in saying that, uh, my dad, he, he's recently jumped on the man shake. Now, he's not a big guy, but he, uh, he, he wanted to um, improve his health and fitness. And my 15-year-old twin brothers have also jumped on the, the fitness bandwagon. And, uh, and they've, been having, they've been taking a man shake uh, for their lunch at school. Uh, they've been putting a bit of chocolate super greens on mm. their oats of a morning. Oh, yeah. For breakfast, they're like, oh, it tastes like Cocoa Pops. And uh, they lo- they love it. Kids and, are silly. Um, Lord, they don't realise it's got veggies. They're stupid. Exactly right. There's kids, yeah. they're fools, they're fools. There's no, and, no um, veggies in it. Stop it. So they've been doing really good. And if I could, I just want to give a quick shout out to my dad. He is actually uh, doing a 100K bike ride for uh, autism at the moment. Because my my son is uh, he is on the spectrum, and um, and the fact that he's doing this this big bike ride is that for, is that um, for such... charity, Lloyd? Is that yeah, it is. Yeah. Do you want um, to post a link in chat if anyone? I will. That, is... I might have to send it to you if I can, German. But um, oh yeah, I'm gonna chat. Yeah, yeah, send it to me. Yeah. Yep. But um, yeah, if if anyone would like to jump on there and, and donate, it's um, it goes to a great cause. I think and, I think. Um, right? I don't think it's out of school to say that. I think most of us, I think most people would know someone that has a child that has, is on the spectrum somewhere, I would think. I don't think that's too far. It's so, it's so more common nowadays. Mm. Um, and I think if you think back of going to primary school and things like that, and there was always, there was probably like always a weird kid and things like that. And everyone just said, oh, he's just a weird kid. Mm. But there's probably chances are that, that he was on the spectrum. Mm. Um and yeah, and it's it's something well, that needs to be more recognised nowadays. Yeah, That's yeah. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Dad. Get that You're link really in there. Legend. I'll send it through to Jared, man. All right, send uh, it through. Justin, Thanks, Justin Parker. He writes, um, "Hey guys, I'm on the man challenge, going okay, and I've lost three kilos. Good on you, mate. Congratulations. That's fantastic. I'm worried about over snacking though. I have fruit, GoPro yogurt." pea chips, etc. but I still struggle with hunger between meals. Should I snack more often or bigger snacks? Um, that's a very good question, Justin. Uh, does anyone want to take this one? Before oh, I, I, no, no, I would to. actually say, yeah, I'd recommend, first of all, maybe try upping your water intake when you yeah, feel hungry. I was going to say that too. Yeah. Uh, when you feel hungry, uh, sometimes it's because your food hasn't digested. Uh, and your stomach is tricking you into thinking you are still hungry when you actually might have a full stomach. So if you up your water intake, that can also really help. Also, keep your mind busy. If you yeah. are bored, if you're not doing anything, your bo- your your brain just goes stupid. It's mm. just like you know what? Let's get something to eat. Yeah, you know? and like just keep your mind busy. Like you know, do anything. Listen to a podcast. Just get away from sitting still. If you're at work and you're you know got a really busy role. Do exactly what um, Tim said. Up your water intake, um, and I think Jerd has also a secret strategy, I've, a secret thing he uses. Yeah, I um, I did an episode on my YouTube. You can get that at uh, Jerd Man on YouTube. Uh, I do different episodes of different topics every week. Um, I did a late night snacking episode, which is sort of goes hand in hand with that. Liquids will keep you full. If you smash a glass of water or whatever liquid you want. I'm partial to a green tea or a black coffee or whatever. In 20 minutes, you're not going to be really... Hunger is can be just habit. Like you can just be used to going to the cupboard and eating. If you keep your mouth busy, and this could be contentious, <laughs> Tim, we're serious, come on. Come on, we've, we've, uh, We promise not to go there this week. Well, you've got to fill yourself in the shower and you've got to keep your mouth busy, all right? 
Um, What's that young Swedish boy? Hey, no, I, told, I told the young Swedish boy to come in tonight. He's not here. He should be here, young Swedish boy. Um, anyway, uh, Eclipse Mints. Now, I know this could be a bit of a... Ooh, but And technically, it's breaking a fast because it's calories. But Eclipse Mints, if you're... If you're there and you cannot stand, you need something, then smash a couple of mints. Like seriously, it's not going to hurt you. It's not going to kill you. Have some no, Eclipse those, mints. Those triple X mints, I used to, I used to down those. Um, that and water, but um, a very good trick for your body as well. Uh, drink a glass of water before you eat your meal, right? So right before you eat, drink a big glass of water. But also, Jordan nailed it for coffee. Uh, coffee, tea, that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Anything caffeine on it. Caffeine is a appetite suppressor. So have a coffee. Mm-hmm. Have something that has less calories or no calories, uh, like you know black coffee or you know green tea or something like that. Um, get it on your stomach, and you'll find that that snacking will kind of dissipate. Mm. Yeah, and mm. and if if you haven't, I do it. I don't know if everyone else does it, but my routine is two hourly. So. I do the fast, which a lot of you guys probably don't do, but 10 shake, two, uh, 12 snack, two hours. You can get through two hours. You can. Keep your mind busy. Uh, and then 2 o'clock shake, 4 o'clock snack, 6 o'clock dinner, two hours. If you know when and where your calories are coming, you can get through two hours. Like you can, no matter how hungry you are, it's two hours. Like you can get through that. So I think you need to know, take the guesswork out. Know when you're having your next calories. It really makes a d- big difference. You, you also have to consider as well as what kind of job you work, you know, like you might have a job where That's you're true. active. So it's okay. That's if true. You eat extra that is that. true too. Like it, it's yeah. It's, uh, and sometimes it's not bad to have a little bit of a snack. Like it's just, I, I, you know, that's that's one of the things that I've always lived by with this whole weight loss challenge is that, you know, like I will eat when I'm hungry. I just don't eat like fucking crazy. Mm. That, that's the knowing when to say, yep, I've had a small snack. That's cool. That that's the time. That's that's the key. You know, like yeah, I I I, I don't know. I just I was never as regimented as you guys were. Like or seem to have been with your weight loss. I was like, I was pretty like just fast and loose with it. To be completely honest, so. It really depends on your body. And yeah, it does. And, and like if you if you're having trouble with snacking, you can adopt those kinds of. You know, yeah. Yeah. So I'd live in the pantry all day. That was my problem. I just live in the pantry. I needed that regimental to uh, train yourself. Now I'm maintaining in all honesty, I'm going to do an episode on maintaining. I, I know a lot of people are interested in that. So I'm going to do an episode on maintaining, but I still keep pretty uniform with what I do. But in the afternoon, like if I'm hungry, I will just go and have another snack. If I'm hungry, I'll have something after dinner. I'll break my fast and have food. Like I, I haven't got enough reserves anymore. So like if, if I'm hungry, my body's telling me that I'm actually hungry. I'm not just hungry because oh. I have it. So what a tough life. You don't have fat reserves anymore. Oh, I've, got, I've, got, I've got plenty of fat. I just haven't got <laughs> as many reserves. Yeah. So. See, um, I was, I'm a little bit different with, with my work, um, constantly being just go, go, go. Um, I was finding if I added things like frozen banana or oats to my morning shake, that would keep me going longer. Um, because I wouldn't get to my next shake until probably after two o'clock once the lunch rush had finished at work. Um, otherwise, I would have a shake ready to go at work. But to kind of stop and have a snack and things like that wasn't always the case. So I always had my big two litres of water, try and smash that in between customers when I could, and then two o'clock I'd have my shake. But on the days that I knew I was going to be flat out, I'd always add – that just that little bit extra to my shake just to um just to help me power through mm. cool yeah well, we, we got another question here from um mr brendan james great name there james i love it um hey guys uh, trying to shed some kegs uh the shakes are great and the bars uh, and the bars uh question i have i have mm. The question I have, sorry, I do apologize, guys. I can't English too well. Um, <laughs> the, uh, the question I have is how many beers is too many during the week? Oh, the sh- that's, that's, it it yeah. goes on, but, yeah, mainly I'd say that's the question. How many beers is during the week? <sighs> See, these are, this is with, like, the really tough questions because that's, once again, is completely subjective to, you know, what your weight goal target is, what your body weight is at the moment, what, you know, like, there's so many external factors in that, in that regard. Mm. Like, for me personally, if, I might have one beer a 
maybe every now and then. But see, I've never been a big beer drinker myself, so I, I, I don't think I can really answer this question. But there are so many variables in that, in that uh, question. I will say this from um, a, a mate's experience, um, and uh, he would actually drink beer quite frequently. Um, yeah, like every day, every night, it might be a few. Um, and the thing about the man shake is that they got it in the, their their title, you know, well, lose the gut but not all the beers. So the key word is all, right? You, you, like all things, you need to have it in moderation mm-hmm. and make the right choices around it. You know, there's a time and place to have it. If you are If you drink beer every day, Every day, it's not, yeah. you're not going to get res- good results. It's going to take you a lot longer. If not, it'll hinder your results and you'll plateau more often and then potentially get discouraged. And, uh, uh, yeah. Another way you can look at it as well yeah. is like, if you're drinking beer every day, like, why? Like, I don't know. Like, yeah, why? Like, save it for the weekend. It'll taste so much better. It's like me with it's like me with Coca Cola. I try not to drink it through the week and I might have a couple of cans on the weekend and it tastes so much better. I just, just yeah, like I just see yeah. calories. I think I see beer, and I think I'd rather have a man bar or something. Like I, that's just how I see it nowadays. Oh, I don't know about that, Jared. I, I'm a beer drinker myself. Mm. Like I, I, I will drink maybe about three, maybe four a week, and that would only be on one on the weekend, and that might be when the footy's on, mm. you know, or a celebration night or some you know day or something. So I don't have a lot of beers, but. I do love the beer, and it's a, always a low-carb beer, like a pure blonde. Um, I haven't had the, the big head. Burley. Yeah, really big, big head. head. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. I haven't had too, too pricey for me, um, but, uh, yeah, the pure blondes, can't go past, can't go past them not with a nice piece of steak. But uh, my advice is just keep it to a minimum if you can. Um, if you need a beer every single day, then you might have some other underlying issues that you might need to uh, have a chat with someone about. I work in a pub, so... What I would suggest doing, if, if you like a beer and you want to sort of get healthy, then just start moderating it a little bit. If, you, if you're like to have a six pack a day, cut down to say three a day and just slowly chip away at it. Like if it's something that you, if something that you want and like and you need, then just slowly minimize. You might get to a point where you are happy just having one beer a day or something. Like you just have one after work to decompress with dinner or whatever you want to do. That's still going to be healthier than having a six pack. So... I think it's, it's and cheaper. Yeah, it, you save heaps of money. Cheaper. Yeah. So, I think it's so like one of the, anything. Yeah, one, one of the key things for me with weight loss as well was looking at it from a financial point of view. Like I was spending twenty dollars a day on food for lunch and bre- breakfast and lunch, and then eating dinner at home. Like, like one hundred and forty bucks a week. You know, like just on food, you save one hundred and forty bucks in your pocket and spend on something you might want to do, you know, like outside of eating or outside of drinking. Like it, you can, you can look at it that from that respect as well is, you know, like I'm saving money. I only have a couple of beers on the weekend. Look how much better off financially I am for just that one little thing. Mm. But in saying that there's no right and wrong answer. Mm, yeah, like, yeah. You might be able to have two beers a night and still lose a lot of weight. It, it all comes down to your body and your personal preference. Mm. And if you, if you need a beer after work and it, it's going to keep you on the straight and narrow, bloody well do it right yeah if if you start to see your results start to hinder and taper off and you're not you know you want to take it to the next level then maybe consider ditching that beer Mm. but um it's all subjective it's a constant evolution you just slowly change if you're not happy with what you're doing then tighten it up a little bit like Mm. you can't expect not to change anything and it's not like we've said it's not a magic pill so you need to adjust stuff in your life to get the most benefit you can from the product at the end of the day, you know your own body better than anyone else. You know, like you wake up in it every morning. You're what gonna you be able to tell if you're gonna be able to tell if like something's yeah, like mm. you know, something's wrong or not. Um, I'm not much of a drinker. Uh, I used to be uh, when I had a social life and then I become a business owner and worked pretty much the every weekend. Um, I have you, Kate, like I'm having one tonight. I've decided lately that's on the man talk night, I'm actually going to have a beer because I don't usually have a beer and, um, and I think it calms my nerves down a little bit as well. <laughs> but, um, yeah, um, when, when I jumped on the man shake, I pretty much cut out all my drinking like Jared, it was, it was just calories. Um, and it also, so when you, when you're drinking it, like it's not just calories itself, but your body actually goes into a state where it, burns the alcohol off in your system before it focuses on burning fat. So 
that's another thing to think of as well. So if you're having a couple of beers, your body's going, oh, there's this thing in my body. I need to get rid of that before it can focus on starting again and, and you and burning fat. So it's just little factors, but, um, but like Ash said, Ooh. like it's all moderation. It's all about just, just, um, yeah, Ooh. setting, just setting little goals and, and, um, yeah, so just enjoying the things that you like doing, just not as much as what you are. Well, there you go. Man, we have had some really good questions come through. Um, and also, Shane Beasley, how fucking keen is he to win? Beasley. <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Let off some just, steam, yeah. Bennett. Yeah, as, right. a, as a reminder, guys, the uh, culinary beard of knowledge over here has come <laughs> up with a new creation for a blended flavoured man shank. He's come up with the Snickers, the Jaffa, uh, a couple others, but he's got one and it's been a big secret and it's awesome. He's absolutely nailed it. So um, uh, we're having a competition. If you guess the right flavour, um, you throw it out there in the live comments, you get to win a few bags of man shake and uh, man bars beautifully and wonderfully donated by Mr. Tim right above us. So, um, yeah, so uh, throw in your guesses, guys, because it's, it's still out there. I just, got a, uh, a question. I just got a question here from Corey. He says, what do you guys look for in regards to sodium intake? What's a good number to look for in meals? I have to say, I've never actually really looked mm, into my sodium intake. No, I'm the same. I've uh, never, that's yeah. the one stat I've never, couldn't be bothered with, to be honest. I know people with heart problems have to look at sodium, but I've never bothered with sodium. The one thing that bothered me was my iron intake because my iron intake wasn't that great and I was very tired all the time. So I had to look at that, but I've never really focused on sodium. So that's an interesting question. I think for me, like the way I, I did my, from my weight loss journey was I, I used an app to work out what my uh, calorie target was each day and my protein target each day. And then I minus 15% from that. And that's what I aimed for. And I was pretty like, you know, like I didn't, if I went a little bit over, I wasn't fast. Or if I came under, I wasn't fast. Like, that's the way I did it. But yeah, that's an interesting question because I've never even considered sodium intake no. at all. It's since starting the match, I've just been a bit more conscious about the salt mm. that I put on my meals. And I, I think, do I need salt? Because it's such yeah. a force yeah. of habit for me to yeah. go. <laughs> and my missus, she says like, she says to me, watching you salt your food <laughs> is like watching one of those guys at the restaurants with the giant shaker, you know, you just like, you, you, you know. And, and that must uh, be so <laughs> offensive to people who cook food for you. Yeah, right? like, <laughs> what do you, what do you <laughs> think about that, Lloyd? When spaghetti with <laughs> tomato sauce all over their shit. Oh, sauce and salt, it's, I suppose it's a personal preference. Uh, if you're going to have chips, you're yeah, either going to pack a full salt. And like my missus, whenever we would go to KFC, she's, see, she's like, Make sure they put extra salt. I'm like, what? Oh. You don't trust oh, their salt? The KFC is the perfect amount of salt. Oh, I know. But she she has them till they're pretty much just salt paste in your mouth. Ah, they burn your mouth. But, um, so much salt yeah, on those chips. <laughs> she loves it. Um, so, no, it is. It's a personal preference. In regards to your processed food with sodium and salt and things like that, you do have to be sort of mindful in a little way. Um, it isn't good to have too much sodium um, most of it is just a, a preservative they take the sugar out of things and go well we're not going to put sugar in it we'll put salt in it as a preservative and vice versa um but yeah it's it's one of those things how does your um <laughs> salt intake go on uh escape from tarkov timmy <laughs> oh, fuck. fuck that game <laughs> he gets plenty of salt on that game don't worry about that oh my god such a um, game, but so cool at the same time. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I want to go back to Shane beers. Beasley, I agree with you, mate. Don't, don't, don't talk about KFC around me. I mate. want to go it's back awesome. to beers for a sec because <laughs> um, I've, I've got my boss onto the uh, Lady Shake and I took this photo the other day at work. I put it up on my Insta. Where is it? There it is. So this is us at work the other day. She was, I, I'd already drunk my shake and she was making her shake up and I said, I said, make your shake up. I said, I'm going to go put it on the bar. I said, it'd be an awesome photo. So... I've got the boss into it, so hey, all is well. We're shaking. We're shaking at work. We're loving it. <laughs> That's it. Anyway. That was hey, it. there are some mad flavor suggestions. Like I hope there you're are, writing some they? of these like... down, Lloyd. Like honestly. <laughs> yeah, Benny Cox, I'm licking my lips, mate, honestly. <laughs> I do miss That's I'm gonna I don't miss the chicken so much. I do miss the chips from KFC. Oh uh, see, I miss the chicken. Stop. I, Ash, Stop. Ash, what is your go to feed from KFC? Do you want me to go first? No, no, I'll go. Let's I'll go. go. Let, let's do it. My let's expertise, go. Right? Um, myself and Ryan Betts were even rapping to each other about uh, KFC the other day. Um, but um, <laughs> Mad rap, I, by the way. Thanks, dude. Yeah. Yes. DJ thank Colonel. Thank you. 
honestly, um, uh, it was in is on my live stream, most recent one. <laughs> Check it out, my channel. But um, yeah, uh, large zinger box, right? Um, Simon from one of my fat chats, he said, get them to put the pepper mayo from the Twister on the zinger burger, and it makes a world of difference, and it does. Uh, so good, large zinger box. And uh, recently, I've been so stoked. My my local KFC have been giving giving me like five star meals every time like because every time you get a meal there's always something wrong with it like oh, either the, the, I... the, the chips are not salted or they're soggy or the burger is just like you know the, like a Hanging little tiny everywhere. piece of chicken or the the, the 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 wings that you get are like this big or they're you know just dry as anything but the last two weeks i've had my celebration meal absolute unicorn dishes five out of five perfect um so keep going Let's let's be honest. The greatest lie, the greatest lie that is ever told in today's society is your sauce is in the bag. Oh <laughs> yeah. The amount of times you've nearly gone through it. Uh, hey, you forgot my sauce. My <laughs> nephew came around today and he's actually got a job interview for uh, KFC tomorrow. Ooh. And the first thing I said to him as I said, Don't forget the sauce. <laughs> That's all you need to worry about. You'll you'll keep your job forever as long as you uh, don't forget the source. I'm more concerned about the employee discount. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I was not talking about KC. Sorry, but um, we, we had a, we had a question a little bit earlier, and um, I want to hear your, what you have for KC, Tim. But uh, I said that we'll answer it, but um, we haven't got to it yet. Christian, he says, how much oats do you put into the man shake? And that asks, begs a question for me. How many people actually out there put oats in their man shake? Because I don't. I don't either. I've never done it. But it's something I, I want do. to start doing. Yeah. I've started, yeah. I do. Yeah. Um, quite often my breakfast shake, I'll have roughly half a cup. Half a cup of oats. And that's enough just to keep me keep me going until lunchtime. Um, that with some frozen banana. They're both um, low, uh, slow release um energy sources so how do you like carbohydrates how does that work that lloyd i'm like completely like oats i think of oats like in the microwave with warm milk and stuff like how, how does it work with the shake like so have have just natural rolled oats um the lower in carbohydrate and sugar and all that jazz that you can get um the better you can even get protein oats that have got added protein and um i just put it in my shake um, you just dump I it put, in the shake yeah, see, um, I, add, I add protein powder. You can protein. Yeah. you can just have it in your shake, and you'll have like oat flavored shake, or you can blitz it up in a neutral okay. bullet. So I'll put ice, cold water, half cup of oats, um, vanilla man shake, double shot of coffee, and I'm ready to go. Does it? Good. Does it? Uh, is it chunky? Like is like if you don't blitz it's it? Not, like no, if you don't blitz it though, is it chunky? It is. Okay. Yeah. It's, but it's actually, it actually tastes really nice when you don't blitz it as well. Uh -huh. It's, it's quite, it's quite pleasant. Now, Mr. Lloyd, <laughs> maybe you can tell me a bit because you're the chef here, but I used to do this before the manche and just thinking about the flavors of the manche, it actually really could be good. Um, overnight oats. Um, I used to get like, you know, the, the, the roll, the roll cut oats and put them in with some, you know, protein powder, some like I think it was milk or something like that and some berries and that and banana. I used yeah. to just mix it up, put it in like a mason jar, seal it, put it in the fridge overnight and then just yeah. all absorb and turn into this beautiful concoction. Um, yeah. yeah. Do you, you know, can you explain a little bit about, you know, about what, you know, any good recipes if anyone wants to try that or. Um, I've, before the man shake, I actually, I've never been one for porridge or oats or anything like that. Um, and I don't even know why I started buying oats and putting oats in my shake, to be honest. Um, I think it was actually, I think there's a couple of like brekkie bowls recipes kind of thing on the man shake recipe page. And I think there's stuff like that in Adam's book as well. Um, because oats, oats are great. Um, like, a lot of people steer away from. They think oh, carbohydrates shouldn't have carbohydrates, but it, and um, but it's not always the case. You just need to know when you're going to have carbohydrates, um, and yeah. So I suppose, but like what you said, like that protein, oats, berries, like that's all good stuff for you. As long as mm. the more natural you can go, the better you're putting in. Like 
if you know what I mean. Calories aren't always calories. Like you can have the same amount of calories in a KFC burger and have the same amount of calories in a handful of nuts, some berries, banana, oats, all this stuff. And this is always better than that. Jared, none of that. None of that. I saw that handful of nuts and he's just like there like this. <laughs> like, hey, Jesus. There's a, there's a really there's an old joke there. I'm not going to go there, but yeah. I'll leave it Two things. Right. Two things. Ryan Betson, for five, for the five years I spent working at Maccas, I rarely put the sauce in the bag. Ha, ha, ha. Unfollow me. <laughs> unfollow me on everything. You are the problem. You are blacklisted. The problem. Your name is and blacklisted second. in chat. It's gone. And second, yeah. <laughs> imagine adding KFC to your man shake. Don't say that. Um, do it. You should I, do it for a video. You should do it for a video. Someone told uh, me I, I should blend it. up a Macca's it. burger and put it in a shake for a video. Uh, who was that? Someone said that. Not someone. That's it. Zinger burger, man shake. I'm going to do it. Challenge do it. Accepted. Do it. All caramel right. zinger burger. <laughs> oh, not caramel. Um, but I, yeah, look, Betson, I, I, you guys seen Breaking Bad, yeah? I'm sure you have. Yeah. Yeah. You know that, that scene where... No, I, um, I haven't seen uh, Breaking Bad at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that scene where, uh, you know, Saul's like, you know, right-hand guys, Huel and um, I forget the other one, um, they're laying on like this great big stack of money. money that was... Storage, um, yeah. That was Bill Burr, the other guy. The comedian, yeah, Bill, Bill Burr. Burr. Yeah. He's my fa- he favorite. Um, oh, I imagine Ryan Betson doing that, but with like sweet and sour sauces. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just how saying. How many's there? I've lost count. <laughs> we, need, we, need to, out. <laughs> we need to peer pressure Ash into doing this uh, Zinger Burger shake. And he should do it on his live on his live stream, on his live YouTube stream. I, I promise you, I will do it. I will Sunday get night a special. Zinger Burger. Sunday I'll night Zinger special. Burger, I'll blend it up. I'll find some sort of protein and do it and try to make it liquid enough. You don't need like protein. The it. chicken is the protein. You're fine. Yeah. I don't know. You're saying you know, <laughs> Zinger Burger Mansha or Chick KFC Mansha. I assume I had to add some protein to it. But <laughs> Talking about burgers and things, there's a dumpling place in the city that oh. does cheeseburger burger dumplings Ooh. and they are amazing. Oh, my gosh. We've yeah, fallen down a rabbit amazing. hole again. <laughs> oh, they yes. do... They do lemon meringue dumplings. Ooh. They also do uh, apple pie dumplings. Ooh. They do all these like warm fancy apple pie? body dumplings. Yeah. Oh, warm I apple pie, Jared, man. <laughs> Your favorite. Wait, Jared, I think, I think you might need to do something after this talk, mate. <laughs> Where's that bucket of cold water? Where is it? Somewhere. <laughs> I think we should. I think we should pick a winner. Okay, we'll pick a winner. Okay, what are we going to do? I know that well, Ash is... We have had a winner. I've seen we it. Have had a winner. I've seen it too, and it's. I think it's old mate. That was <laughs> one of my favourites, I think. Uh, let me have a look. Okay, we'll go to the screen first, and we'll reveal what the flavour is. All right? Let's, where the hell was that? It was here. Oh, I love that. Wayne. Thank you, Wayne. All right, here we go. Okay, now, my fellow crew members will not be able to hear this. Uh, you guys out there will, and I will, so they're out of the loop. Anyway, here we go. Lloyd made it, so Standard. Lloyd knows what's going on. Standard. Standard. Here we go. Why am I having... Why is... Why am so, I so congratulations, congratulations to this week's winner of the Mantle of Mystery, mystery Flavor. 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 So, we, so put we put out the question, the question on, on what, what flavor, flavor creation have I come up with? with? And the winner, and the winner was, was lemon, lemon meringue. meringue. So, so as promised, lemon meringue, I'm going to lemon show meringue. you a bit of a demo on how to, how to make this shake. There you go. We'll also hey. put it in the description. Lemon meringue is the new other flavor, in the chat, and I'm happy to say that uh, Mr. Shane Beasley um, nailed it. Yeah. Beasy. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Got it, Beasy. Birthday cake, Beasy. I'm coming to your house. Yes. That's amazing. I've got some, um, some fine I want that. I'm with you. So I want to do that. I wish I was inventive. I don't know how loud this new triplet's going to be, so and just get ready. Get ready, <laughs> chat. <laughs> um, not too bad. Guys. Not too bad. Get ready, chat. There's that echo. Yeah. I could talk us through it, Lloyd. Uh, can you talk it through? Tell the boys here okay. what's going on. So, guys, I have added um, about a cup of ice, uh, around 400 to 500 ml of cold water, depending on how thick you want your shake. Um, I've muted it, Lloyd, then, so I've muted it so they can't hear that video now. It's all you, so go for okay. it. Okay. All right. So what I've added there, I've added ice, cold water. Um, I have added roughly a tablespoon of shredded coconut. 
a tablespoon of um, high protein cottage cheese. Ooh, so it's okay. Uh, it's ninety seven percent fat free. Okay. It's pretty. It's pretty decent. It's not that high in calories. Um, added two scoops of the vanilla man shake, and then I zest a lemon roughly a teaspoon of lemon into the shake now here's a question lloyd i don't like lemon yeah. i don't like any rind at all can you use something besides yep. rind um it's or, it's really a different flavor okay. so if you were to add lemon juice to it i think the acidity is a little bit too okay. high you wouldn't if you're blitzing it up, you don't actually you're not chewing on okay. pieces of rind or anything. I don't like, like that. the it's rind fairly... in the fruit cakes and stuff that you get at Christmas. I hate oh, it. Oh no 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 no. So what I'm using there is fairly fine. So if you've got a zester or a really fine grater, mm -hmm. just use that. Okay. Um, and it, once it blitzes up, you you can't even tell. So you yeah. run, Shane. You busy. You got a busy. Shane Beasley, he nailed it fairly early. Beasy. He's, um, named pretty much uh, every single flavor under the sun. <laughs> um, <laughs> I just want to check. Have you muted it? Yeah, I've muted it. I'm just letting yeah. Lloyd okay, talk. Great. Yeah. yeah, so some of the best flavors I've seen um, come from you guys, and uh, I want to call out two that stood out to me. Uh, I think it was also Shane who suggested avocado. Ugh. And chocolate. That'd um, go all right, wouldn't it? No, no, not chocolate, just avocado, he said. Oh. Um, but one that I want to get Lloyd on ASAP um, is the McDonald's hotcakes. Oh, yes. Like, oh, yes. I was, I was, was actually Brando. I was yes. having a think about this the other day because I know that you can get sugar-free maple syrup. So sugar-free maple syrup. Um, yeah, there's a couple of things. It's, it's like the flavor of whipped butter that I don't know how you would reproduce into something healthy in a shake. But I think if you did probably like ice, vanilla man shake, tiny little bit of cinnamon and some of the sugar-free maple syrup, you can get it from Coles. There's no calories, no sugar, nothing in it. Nice one, Jed. Um, I reckon you could almost get that hot cake flavor. Oh. The mad scientist needs to uh, have a tinker in his laboratory. Yeah, laboratory. I have a thing. I just, I just want to have a hot dog flavored. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Nippers getting the hot dog flavored so, water. Oh, what a great CD! What a great album. <laughs> oh, Why yeah. don't you put, um, yeah, drain the hot dog juice, the water <laughs> that you boiled it in, yes. into a shake. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Just put a loaf of bread in there and just blend it up. Oh, Jesus, yeah. that sounds. sounds if you're out of any bread sandwiches, um, so, so Shane, we'll be in touch with you to get your deets to yeah, organise so your prizes. Yeah, so Shane wins. What do you win? You win uh, vanilla, caramel, and some man bars. Perfect, Shane. Perfect. <laughs> sure. Coming your way, buddy. None of none of this. None of this. Good. 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 You're not getting a birthday cake. I've got to come and see Ash. We've got to go, no got to go knock on his door. We've got to go see Ash. I've got to make the trip out. <laughs> I know that reference. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one who knocks. Ash is the one who knocks. I need to come and see yeah. my good friend. Out well, there. I think it's been another great episode, It's been guys. really good. Honestly. What are we... Okay, so <laughs> while we're wrapping... While we're going to start wrapping up, next week, big... Now, you thought this giveaway was good. And it was very good because it's got sprinkles, which is amazing. Next week, episode four, it's a big one. You have to be here or be square. You can win this. Thanks to Manshank, you can win this. Boom. Months wow. worth of shakes, months worth of bars, the super greens and the shaker. You can win all that next week. So That's huge. How good's that? Be you have to next be week or is no, no, the week after Next that? episode, uh, the 20th. Next episode, which is a fortnight for now, but you have to be here, gotta be here. through the entire string. You've got to be here. Good. Mm. Ash Lloyd, you reckon that we can scour our contacts to see if we can get a special guest on the show for the next for the next episode? Mm, possibly. Mm. We, we do have one yeah, man. Good... We do have, we do we have one person. We have, we have people. <laughs> I think we should endeavour to get a special guest on the next episode. Okay. All right. gonna, is, is, is that the sizzle you're going to do? Just that sizzle. That's it. Yeah. Okay. I like it. <laughs> hey, there could be a special guest. Who knows who? I don't know who Tim's got in mind. You know. but 
I, I, don't, I don't have anyone in mind, uh, but I think maybe uh, we can put um, our heads together and and see what we can find. I'll I, I'll see whether Tom Cruise is in town. Yeah, Ka- Kanye West is looking yeah. for supporters. <laughs> oh, does he need more attention? Seriously, <laughs> going to run for president. Yeah. Wait, just, didn't, well, didn't like, Kanye West say, my only regret in life is that I don't get to see myself in concert? Yeah, that, 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 that's oh, my biggest regret. Yeah. <laughs> just, when, just when 2020 can't get any weirder. Mm. Well, there's it's always, it's always a way. Yeah, uh, yeah, did you see today that Hemsworth is going to be Hulk Hogan? Did you see that news? Yeah, I did see that, actually. He's yeah. going to have to bulk. Oh, as if he does. He's oh, no, but Hulk was huge. Does. Hulk was huge. Not Andre the Giant huge, but Hulk was a massive unit. Chris Hemsworth is a massive unit. Well, have you he's seen probably got Thor? a massive have unit. Have you seen the Avengers, mate? He is an absolute unit. I reckon he'd out. Yeah, I reckon he'd be able to easily do like Hulk in his current shape. Well, okay. I could, I could <laughs> do. Um, well, why don't you start pumping the weights? I could eh? do. Teach him a lesson, Who was that guy? I could do mankind. I got a bit of the mankind going on. What was his name? <laughs> Mick Foley. Mick Foley. Yes. <laughs> I, do Mick Foley. I miss. I miss live. Live. Wrestling. I just like Jake the Snake. Yes. You couldn't do that nowadays. Ryan, Ryan Betson, are you still here? <laughs> Ryan Betson, he's the king of wrestling, right here. Oh. I went to Brisbane Expo '88, the World Expo, back when they used to have World Expos because there was no internet. And uh, I got a Hulk. I got a Hulk maniac show bag. So good, loved it. Anyway, <laughs> oh it. gosh, that's it. That's let's, it. Let's yeah, let's put our heads Wait, together so, and see. If right, we can we'll get, get another. Us. We'll get a sizzle special guest. Maybe we'll see. Maybe disclaimer we'll see. or a semi-special <laughs> guest. Jeez, you're pressure on us now. Mm. <laughs> All right. So before we go, Tim, what do you got on this week? What's happening this week? You got anything on this uh, week? Well, as, as soon as I finish this podcast, I'm about to start streaming some Escape from Tarkov. So on my Twitch channel, which you can uh, see in the bottom left-hand corner of my cam screen, if you want to come and watch. And what, uh, what, But otherwise, I'm on fucking holidays. So I'm going to be chilling. Hey. Uh, and recovering, What's a holiday? Recovering from dental surgery. Mm. So yeah, good times. Um, and what about your Twitch channel? What 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 special thing can they do on your Twitch channel, uh, Tim? Oh, they can, have you heard of Amazon Prime? No. <laughs> <laughs> People can drop by, pay five dollars a month to me for to- my entertainment. No, I yeah, I just at the moment I'm just trying to up my viewer count so that I can achieve partnership hopefully in the near future. So if anyone That's wants to dream. drop by and hang out, I do That's appreciate the dream. it. And I'm just going to be streaming Tarkov. And I have a special event on Saturday, Saturday at 2 p.m. Uh, on the official Rainbow Six Siege ANZ Ooh. page. I will be part of a charity tournament uh, oh. taking part, yeah, uh, raising money for um, a charity that has not been disclosed yet. Okay. Who knew? You could be our special guest next week. You're famous. Look. <laughs> I love Ryan. Well, who's like who's your main in Siege? <laughs> Uh, in Siege, I am a Thermite, Zofia, and a Echo Main. Ooh. I used to like uh, Fuse, and I used to like doing that on the hostage levels. <laughs> and I just go and randomly. And you get, they give me a chat. F- hostage, no Fuse. Hostage, no Fuse. It didn't bother me. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. So, R- R- I, L- I love Ryan Betts' comment. It made me actually laugh. Um, Ryan Betts goes, I love the decline in the cell. Special guest. Uh, Semi special guest. Guest. <laughs> Sort of. Sort of. <laughs> we can't it sizzle too too. much. There's too much Ryan, sizzle. Ryan, it may be you, Ryan. It, it may be you, you, Ryan. You don't even know. We might reach out to you, Ryan. It could be you no. out there. He's a super special guest. It could be you. <laughs> All right, Lloyd, what do you got on this week? You got anything on this week, Lloyd? What's happening? Um, No, just... Oh, actually, we've got a big, uh, massive 50% off sale at our uh, in our gallery slash artwork giftware, all things like that, um, because we're making room for a um, enterprise center, which is part of the council. They're actually going to be putting the information center, uh, setting up things for small business um, oh, that's in, cool. in our building. So we're actually clearing out all of our gallery space wow. to do so. So we're having big sales. So if you want cheap artwork and giftware. And where would they go to, to get that, Lloyd? Uh, to the Maribor Railway Station, so Railway Cafe and Tracks Bar in Maribor, Victoria. It's about an hour between Ballarat and Bendigo. It's Maribor. awesome. <laughs> 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 I 
bloody New South Wales. No, you get across that border, mate. <laughs> Stay over there, please. Yeah, no, it's, it's locked down, mate. It's, it's locked down. Can Sam Newman <laughs> play golf still, or is that shut down again? <laughs> I know Sam Newman would be pissed off. He wants to play that golf. Uh, Probably. What do you got on this week, uh, Ash, that fat guy? What's happening? Oh, you know, just the uh, daily video uploads. Uh, today, I uh, just uh, put up, a, before the stream, actually, um, a fat chat with uh, uh, internet celebrity Beatrice Caruso. Um, she has blown up. She's only got like eight videos out there, but she's got 110,000 subscribers. And, what? 110,000? Um, 113, I think, as of today. But, From eight um, videos? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she did a Chloe Ting challenge that oh, just kind of wow. blew up, and uh, she's got awesome personality. And we had a chat; like, I already teed up a fat chat with her wow. before she blew up. So um, she was kind enough to keep uh, keep her word to that. So you blowing up next week then too? Uh, who knows? Um, but uh, I hope not. You have blown <laughs> I'm up. Just trying to, you have blown up. I'm really? Just try, I'm just trying to power through this. Um, I. I don't know whether I'm on a plateau. I don't know what's going on with my body. I've been a bit crook recently, but I haven't been getting good weigh-ins. And I know it's not all about the, the number that you lose, but uh, weigh-in on Wednesday. Hopefully, that gets some decent numbers. Um, otherwise, yeah, Thursday, I've got live stream, 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, where I just go over comments I've gotten over the last seven days. And then it's just, you know, daily uploads till the weekend and Parramatta Eels playing on Sunday. Yes. Oh, no. They actually are playing the same time as my general live stream. You should do a... Oh, no. I know there's a, a guy on uh, Twitter that live streams him watching me. Uh, this is for Stephen Singh out there. He watches uh, Man United play and live streams his reactions to it. You could do that. You could have it on screen over there on mute. I actually might live stream myself watching the footy. No. I don't know. Don't... People out there, let me know what you uh, what, what you want to see me to do. Whether it be blend up a, uh, a singer, blend up a while. singer. When they, does does KFC still the sponsor point. the um, video ref? Yeah, they do. So first video ref, get the blend, get the ninja out, blitz up a singer, and it writes itself, mate. I, I don't know. Like, uh, yeah, it, it depends on um, you know how much I blow up and <laughs> if any. I could not but, live stream uh, a Bronco game. Oh my god! Oh, the, the, they're not showing them on TV anymore. No, they're no just that cares. horrible. Even the cardboard cutouts left no the game. One cares. So, <laughs> no one cares about the Broncos. Come on, Broncos, put some effort in, please. Uh, okay. Find some ticker, boys. Me this week. I've got. Uh, just chatting Wednesday night on Twitch. Uh, Twitch TV. Man, you can get me. Uh, give me a few nights a week on Twitch. I'm going to pop in right now after this, actually, and get on Red Dead 2, Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm replaying that. So I'm going to jump on there. So if you want to see me, the other day I got there and I was like, I'm going to be stealthy. I had this bow and arrow. And then I went to shoot a guy. And for some reason, my pistol equipped it and I shot some random dude. And then everyone was after me. So stealth. If you want pure stealth action, Red Dead, come and watch me after this. Spend your Amazon Prime sub at my channel. Beezy's on the Prime now. He loves it. All right. That's it. <laughs> Wait, Lloyd, are you going to sing a song? Yeah, Lloyd, what do you got? Oh, I can sing a song if you want a song. All right. We all want a song? Everyone? Yeah, yeah let's sing a song. A song. Make, uh, sure, make sure you put him as the main cam. Okay, we'll do that. Yeah. All right. Uh, before we do it, have a wonderful night, Thank everyone. you, everybody, for coming into chat. Thanks, guys. Uh, Brando, thank to answer you, your question, this giveaway will be drawn at random next episode. So just be here, and you're in the draw. It draws. You have random. to be here for the entire thing. So make time in your night. You got to be here. Got to be here. All right. Mm -hmm. They've been trying to recover play smoke, since. Play smoke on the water. Christian, they've been trying to recover since Langer left. To be honest, perfectly. We honest. were chilly, were we? Right, here we go. Hold on. <laughs> Let me get Lloyd up. Hold on. Here we go. All right. Take these guys. Thanks, guys. Out. Well, I'm so above you when it's fancy, but I can't love you anyway. Well, you so hard out, and I don't mind beating any old time to keep me waiting. Waiting, waiting. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I love. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I got love, but she keeps me waiting. I'm a lonely boy. I'm a lonely boy. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I got love, and she keeps me. Waiting.
Thank you, Andrew wow. Knox. Oh, man, you got talent. Oh, what are you Lloyd, doing here? That's so good, what. mate. That's, that's brilliant. Hey, we need to get, get him a contract. I'm going to go back to the screen for a second. We'll quickly go back here for one second. So, that was a perfect finish. So, what are you oh, doing no, here? No, no, I'm so, <laughs> Lloyd, we need, we're going to organise. When all this is over, we're going to organise like a live sit-around chat. Lloyd's going to cook us all food. He's going to sing us all songs. We're going to have a luau at Lloyd's. So, Lloyd... Oh, that sounds good. Oh, actually at Lloyd's. I'm like, what are we doing yeah. right now? We're going to go down to the right? cafe and have a luau. All right. That's it. Okay. That's, that's all I want to say. I'll bring my bass guitar, Lloyd, and you and I can just all jam out there. Jam it. I'll bring <laughs> my tambourine. Yeah, I'm slapping the bass. I'm slapping the bass. <laughs> okay, that's it. All right. Take it easy. Hey, <laughs> Thanks, guys. I love you all, and there's nothing you can do. Uh, I love some of you out there. You know who you are. Goodbye. <laughs> See ya.